hey baby girls how's everyone doing welcome back welcome if you're brand new here in this channel i've been receiving a lot of new subbies so i'm super super excited to tell you guys hi hello <laughs> welcome to bomb nails and um yeah we're gonna start with another halloween design um but first off i want you to let you know that subscribing is free and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button please okay Okay, so now with that being said, <laughs> really quick intro there, um, we're going to go ahead and continue with our nail design for Halloween. I'm not sure if this is going to be my last Halloween nail design, you guys, um, or if I'm going to do maybe another one or two. I'm not sure, but if I do, of course, I will be posting them, and if I don't, well, we're going to continue with our regular fall designs. So starting off with the products that I'm using, I am actually using my 3XL tips here. These are my square tips and you can find them on my online store. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the 40% off anymore. Um, that went all throughout the middle of September, all throughout the middle of October. It barely ended, I think, two days ago. So yeah um if you took advantage of that thank you so much but um yeah <laughs> these tips are available on my online store and these are the 3xl square tips okay and i am also using my number 14 brush um i do not have this one available anymore it's sold out but i do have new ones coming in i think i'm only gonna do or have the number 12s available because those are the ones that you guys mostly like um so yeah i think those are the only ones i'm gonna have available for you guys um but yeah anyway those are gonna be coming back um they're not gonna be the usual pink they're gonna have a um different handle you're gonna be seeing that later on so i'm super excited to show you guys um but yeah anyway the acrylics that i'm using um it's this one it's called violet and this one is from zoeve I think that's what her brand name is, Zoeve or Zoev. I think it's Zoeve. Um, and I do have a coupon code on their online store just in case you guys want to go and get yourself some goodies. Um, yeah, I do have the link in the description box as well as my coupon code. And I am using the Monomer from Not Polish as well as their Crystal Clear Acrylic that I freaking love. I swear their products are bomb.com, you guys. If you guys haven't tried it, what are you doing with your life? Um, I do have a coupon code, so that'll be in the description box below, as well as my coupon code. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm also going to be using a nude here and a glitter. So, yeah. Um, you guys can see how beautiful this color is and how pigmented and how beginner-friendly this acrylic is, you guys. I never used it. I've had it with me maybe for the past three years. Um, and I had never actually used it and I was like, what am I doing with my life? I need to use this acrylic. I have a lot of acrylics that I have never even touched and I think I need to start bringing them out and start getting some use out of them because I didn't just buy them just for the heck of it. I, I think I need to use them. <laughs> so yeah. And right here, I want you to notice this clip. This is the actual color of it. Um, whenever I place my hand like the other way around, um, like this, it looks more blue. But I promise you guys, it's not that blue. It's more on the purple side. It's just my camera picking up a different color of purple, I guess. Um, but it's, it, it, it is purple. Okay, I promise it's purple. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, now here we're going to be using Hocus Pocus that... Um, this is a collection that I got off with, I believe their Instagram, it's called Nail Heaven. But I've been wanting to go back and to buy a little more products from them. And I haven't been able to find their Instagram. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but if you do Google them, they do pop out. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, my Instagram not working or something. But... I haven't been able to find them, but yeah, it's Nell Heaven from Instagram, or you can just search nellheaven.com on on Google, and it should pop right off. But I think they do have this um, collection available, and I bought it. I think it was like three years ago or two years ago, and actually, you guys, I have never used it. So, 
I wanted to use it and here we are today so two years later <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and apply it here at the tip of the nail um, because we're, we are gonna be creating some ombres there so you guys can see how I apply my first bead and I start to just kind of bring it down towards the tip as much as I can not bringing the whole product because then the glitters are going to be very like separated you know what I mean and you're going to have to be adding like layers of that acrylic and I didn't want that because then it starts to bulk up and it just looks not cute so um I'm going to go ahead and place my second bead I think at the tip and then just kind of um, feather it up kind of with my brush and then down once again to bring the rest of the product down the tip of the nail so that's pretty much what I do just kind of connecting the two little beads that we had applied so that there is a super neat application so yeah you guys that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with this acrylic and I really loved it I honestly did um I initially didn't know what I was what I was gonna do with this design I knew I wanted purples and I wanted oranges and I also wanted to do the scream face well his face is not gonna be orange or purple his face is gonna be the regular um white but I didn't want it the, the usual you know everybody's doing pink and red and black and white for her for his face and I didn't want that I wanted um like I said purples and oranges um something that actually represents halloween you know what i mean and i think i i think i nailed it i don't know you guys tell me at the end but um yeah so that's why i went in with this and i wasn't sure if everything everything was gonna be matte i wasn't even sure what i was gonna do you guys um and it took me two days to film this the design i went ahead and did the application one day and um i did the like the whole um nail art thing the next day um the first day because it was getting super late and i had to go to sleep i have to wake up early to take um my son to school and stuff so um i didn't want to um, stay up super late and it was already kind of late so i just left it there i took them off and then the following day i did the nail art so i just glued them back on and finished the whole design so that's pretty much what i did and yeah, it was like a two-part um, nail video. <laughs> um, but I, of course, I went ahead and squeezed it into one. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, I also went ahead and ombre the glitter using Velvet Teddy, I believe, from Not Polish. That I, I freaking love, you guys. Chef's Kiss. Like, honestly, that's hands down one of my favorite nudes right now. Um, and I freaking love it. I love it. So yeah, I went ahead and used that to ombre um, the glitter. And now, of course, we're going to be moving on to capping everything. And to cap, of course, like I mentioned before, I will be using the um, Crystal Clear Acrylic from Not Polish as well as their monomer. And I'm running low. I went ahead and did a little purchase with them. I'm supposed to be receiving my order tomorrow because I did order their crystal clear acrylic and their monomer that's all i ordered but i'm waiting for that because honestly i'm really running low on the monomer and i don't want to run out so yeah um and so yeah you guys uh now i'm gonna be capping everything you want to make sure you cap everything because of course we have glitter going on and second of all you want to make sure to give the nails the right structure it needs as I have always mentioned, when you look um, your, uh, at your nails from a side view, your nails should be looking super thin around the cuticle area, super flush. And then it goes goes up towards a little hill, like a little pancita on the apex. The apex is where you glue on your false tip to your natural tip. And then it goes thin once again back on the tip of the nail. So that's pretty much how your nail should be looking like. And as you guys can always see here, I always wipe my sidewalls. I never leave the acrylic to just run down there. I always make sure to wipe those sidewalls because that gives me a super crisp nail. And it's just so much easier to shape and file whenever you do come and file.
So now we're going to be moving on to filing, which is a lot of y'all's favorite part to watch. <laughs> I've noticed that. So we're going to move on to filing. And to begin, I will be using my hand file, the Panna hand file in the 8080 nail grit. I do find these off of Amazon. Um, they're super, super good to go ahead and file or just shape in general and just re well first off here what i'm doing is just removing any acrylic that might have run down the um, like down towards my skin i just go ahead and remove that and i also kind of shape but not really you guys can see there what kind of did and then i'm gonna be moving on to using my e-file for this i am using it at about 13 through 15 rpms 13 14 15 <laughs> doesn't matter but i just don't use it higher than 15 rpms because i am using the five in one not polish fine drill bit the tapered drill bit and um it kind of burns when i do use it higher than 15 rpm so of course i don't want to burn myself it actually does hurt because i burned my mom and then i burned my sister and then i burned myself and it actually kind of hurts so yeah, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I the highest that I use it at, it's at 15 RPMs. But I think right now I had it at 13. And um, I just go ahead and file, debug the nail, go ahead and seal the cuticles, making sure they're nice and sealed. I go ahead and bring it down towards the tip from side to side, debulking it, making sure there's no lumps and bumps. And of course, I like to file the sidewalls as I always mention because it just leaves a very crisp shape, whatever shape you're doing. I really, really love doing this, you guys. So, um, and now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, of course, the same motions and everything all throughout the nails, making sure there's um, no lumps and bumps or anything like that. Um, and... And then now I'm going to be moving on to another hand file, which is a 150-150 nail grit file. This is just optional, you guys. This is just my personal preference. This is what I prefer. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, it's okay. It's all good, you guys. I just share um, what works for me, okay? And like I said, I am using a 150-150 nail grit file. And this helps me further buff the surface of the nail because sometimes the e-file leaves like like lines like weird lines and like streaks or something like i don't know you guys but it's just so weird what the e-file sometimes does to your nails <laughs> and i don't like that i don't like to just jump right in with the buffer i like to go in with the 150 150 first and then i go in with the buffer so i do take it along the surface and then i do like to further shape like the sidewalls underneath the nails for any little grooves since i do shape the sidewalls sometimes i do take it like underneath the nail and it leaves like little grooves so i like to shape underneath there too making sure everything is nice and straight nice and crisp and it all depends you guys like i've mentioned whatever's laying around whatever my hand touches first 
um, that's what I used to shape the free the free edge. So I think I used this one for this particular design. But like I said, sometimes I do take the 8080 or sometimes I do take this one. It doesn't matter. Um, honestly, for the free edge, uh, I don't really care. <laughs> I just take whatever's there. So yeah, after that, of course, I'm going to be going in with my orange buffers. And those are my favorite because since I am working with nail art and a whole bunch of gels, I don't want my nail art to crack. I don't want my nail art to peel off or anything like that. Sometimes buffers leave like a super, super smooth surface and you don't want that. Like you want a smooth surface, but you don't want a super, super duper smooth surface you know what i mean so i think those buffers are just perfect for that it just leaves a perfect surface for you to work on top of that and your gel won't peel off or anything like that so yeah And of course, I just went ahead and removed any dust and now I'm going to be cleansing with a little bit of alcohol and a lint-free wipe for that. And look at the end result, you guys. I freaking love seeing the finished product or seeing the finished um, acrylic nails after filing and after being cleansed. I freaking love that. But anyway, you guys, of course, I had to do this trend again. I love this trend, especially I thought it looked super cute with the Halloween designs. So um, the first part of the actual gel kind of cut off. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I didn't record or if I forgot to press record or something. I don't know what happened, you guys, but it I didn't have it. I don't have that clip. But what I basically did was, of course, ombre the purple and the orange. And after it was ombre, I went ahead and cured it under the lamp for about 30 seconds. Now that it came out of the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and add the colors on opposite sides. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to go ahead and ombre those two colors together. And I'm not going to cure. I am not going to cure just yet. Um, now using my super clean brush, I'm going to be making like little lines from side to side. And it's like a super cute optical illusion and I freaking love it. I love it. I think I'm going to be doing something like this with a fall design. So yeah, I have something in my mind, but let's see later on. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and like I said, make these little um, lines from one side to the other. Making sure it's nice and clean and because if it's not, it's going to look a little dirty. So just make sure those lines are super nice and clean. And I do have a little container of alcohol on the side just so that I can be wiping my brushes constantly because they're constantly getting dirty by gel of course you're using them and using them so they're getting super dirty with whatever color gel you're using in this case I was using purples and oranges so I'm constantly cleaning them and yeah that's what I do I go ahead and do the little line I want I went ahead and just um, remove the gel that was on the brush kind of wiped it down with my little napkin and it makes your brush super clean so guys i gotta confess something to you guys like i have to confess something to you guys making the little scream face or what's it called is it a scream little face is it a ghost face what is it because i'm not sure but anyway making this little face right here was so much harder than doing um wednesday adams like i have to admit this was super hard to do. Um, that's why I've been avoiding him. I've been avoiding this little face here. Because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I tried my best. I tried. Um, I think I did it um, when I did my 31 days of Halloween. I think I, I think you guys. I did a design like that. But it was super hard to do. I remember. And then I think I did it about two years ago. Back in 2020. 
20 I believe I think I did another design like this and it was a little hard too and last year I totally avoided it last year when the pink came out with the ghost face or the scream face I really wanted to recreate it but um I was just I, I was just not ready you guys <laughs> I was literally not ready and this year when it started when it started to come out again in pink I was like everybody's doing pink like everybody's just doing pink what if I do it in different colors um so I did and I was kind of avoiding it but I'm like you know what today's the day I have to do it um so you guys can see here that I went ahead and did like the black from his from his suit like the black and then I'm gonna be using a white this white is from Valentino you guys and let me just tell you black you guys can see how black that black is look how pigmented this white is like it's I didn't even have to go with two coats I didn't even have to do that I only used one coat and I went ahead and cured it after that and I didn't I thought I was gonna need two coats but it didn't look how pigmented it is and it is from Valentino like I mentioned so yeah anyway now I'm gonna be drawing his little face here you guys can like his face is like kind of white at the top and then towards like from his jawline towards the bottom is super thin so I was trying to achieve that it is a little hard working on yourself plus I'm not a freehand girl here so it is much harder to work on yourself you know um so I tried my best I promise I tried my best and, and this is the result you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it it's a little crooked I think his face was a little crooked crooked I, it kind of looks like he's turning to one side, kind of. <laughs> but you guys get the picture. That's the idea, and I'm sure you guys get it. If you guys want to recreate, you're more than free to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of cleansing here because uh, it just wasn't... It was just not giving screen face. So, I went ahead and cleansed it a little bit. And it looks like he ate too many candies on Halloween or something because he looked a little fat to me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, his face looks a little fat, but it could be the length of the nail. It can, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead and drew his little eyes. They look like little beans or something. And then I went ahead and drew his little nose. It's like a little upside down um, heart. That was super easy to, to draw. And now I'm gonna be drawing his face. I mean, his, what? His mouth. And um, now I'm drawing his little, um, his little eyebrows. Oh my god, you guys. I'm like all over the place today. Um, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, it, like I said, it was it was hard to draw this, this guy right here. He's so hard to draw to me. Um, it looks like it's simple, but honestly to me, it's not simple. So I went ahead and did a little bit of shadowing. Of course, that looks so much realistic, you guys. I went ahead and just... Um, took a little dot of the white and a little dot of the black and just kind of did a little gray there and did a little bit of shadowing here as you guys can see um and of course you want to make sure you're carrying in between little things that you do for example i did the black i went ahead and cured and then i did his white face i went ahead and cured and then i went ahead and did his little eyes his little nose and his little mouth and then i went ahead and cured and now I'm going to be drying like everything else. And you know what I mean? You have to make sure you flash cure at least in between um, layers or whatever you're doing. Because then you're just going to be creating a mess. So here I'm going to be drying his little eyes. Like I mentioned, everybody was doing pinks. So I was like, you know what? Nope. I want purple and orange. So you know how the like in the pink designs, they have the either the pink hearts or the red hearts. I went ahead and did it orange and I thought that looked so bomb and then his little horns I saw this design I don't know whose it was you guys like I just ran through it and I just scrolled and you know so um his little horns were red and I was like nope a again the design was pink and red I was like nope I'm doing the orange so I'm gonna be drawing his little horns orange too so um um, I went ahead and drew his little horns. They don't have to be perfect, you guys. Like, they don't have to be perfect. I just went ahead and drew them here. And then after that was done and over with, now I'm going to be moving on to my ring finger. And here in my ring finger, I'm going to be creating a little Frenchie with a... Um, what, 
whatchamacallit, <laughs> with a little um, spider web. So I went ahead and drew the little spider web. And you guys can see here how I messed up. You guys can totally see how I messed up in the spider web. Um, of course, I do go ahead and fix it. And um, here's where I noticed that I had totally messed up on the spider web. So I go back with my little brush and a little bit of alcohol and just remove that. And I keep going. Don't worry, you guys. Everything's cool. So I just started to draw my little spider web. And this is pretty much what I did to this nail. I also went ahead and drew a little orange heart in the center of the spider web. Because it, it just needed a pop of orange here. I know like the glitter already has a little orange. But it wasn't really showing up for me. You know what I mean? So I thought it needed a little bit of more orange. So I went ahead and drew a little heart in there. Just like his little eyes. So yeah, you guys. Um, I went ahead and cured. Of course. Because I don't want to make a mess. And then I went ahead and did his little heart here in the center. So um, I just did two little, like two little, um, use my dotting tool to create two little drops of that or two little circles, whatever. And then I went ahead and connected them with my super small liner brush. I went ahead and cured and now I'm going to be moving on to my um, index nail. And here I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was not sure. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be drawing his little iconic phone. And, uh, and then I'm going to be doing the wordings of no, you hang up. So I went ahead and did his little iconic phone, of course, in orange. And then um, I went ahead and used my dotting tool for that. It just dotting tools help so much, you guys, when you're drawing. Like, make sure you have your dotting tools and you have your liner brushes and you'll be good to go. So I went ahead and outlined, of course, everything with the black. You want to make sure that that pops out. It stands out even more when you outline things. So I went ahead and outlined everything with the black. And the black that I'm using is from Madame Glam. I love that black because it is so pigmented. I've heard that the one from, from Valentino is super pigmented as well. And um, honestly, you guys, like, um, I did a purchase with them. That's when I bought the whites. But the black was literally out of stock, so I wasn't able to purchase it. So I was a little sad, but I at least I got the white. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm using a super tiny little um, liner brush for that. You guys can see how big it is, um, but you guys can use whatever you have at home, okay? These are just ideas that I'm giving you. So yeah, I'm going to be outlining everything, and then like I said, I'll be making the wordings. And here, all I'm going to be doing is going back in with the whites and kind of outlining the wording with the white so that it kind of pops out even more. Because I thought it wasn't really picking it up with the glitter. Like, it wasn't showing up. So, I went ahead and did it with the white. And I thought at the end, it looked super neat. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I went ahead and cured the first layer of the black. And then, and after it came out of the lamp, I went ahead and did the wording in white. So And then um, I have this great idea towards the end to add some little 
um, four point stars here on Scream's face. No, on his head. I'm sorry. Or on top of his head. And I went ahead and used my dotting tool for that. I went ahead and added four little dots. And then using my super small liner brush, I went ahead and did the little, um, like the little lines going down upside to side. <laughs> you guys can see what I'm doing. So after that, I went ahead and cured under the lamp for maybe 15 seconds. So to me, every single design needs at least a little bit of bling. So I went ahead and added a little bit of bling here on my ring finger around the cuticle area, like the little crown. And I am using um, AB Swarovski crystals to do this. I didn't go ahead and add like a whole bunch of crystals because it was going to take away from the actual design, you know what I mean? Um, so then after that, I also went ahead and added... Um, tiny, I think they were number three, um, AB crystals on top of the little stars that we created on top of Screen's face. You know what I mean? So, um, and now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and add my matte top coat. Whenever you're working with nail art, you, well, it all depends, you know, it's, it's all up to you because I know that a lot of you don't like matte nails, but it really stands out more when you're doing nail art that nail art it's gonna pop it's gonna look better everything just stands out even more so i went ahead and did my nails all matte i know that i do have glitter but it doesn't matter you guys <laughs> i really wanted everything to stand out and look super cute and yeah i went ahead and did that and then of course i went ahead and cured under the lamp for about 60 seconds making sure everything is nicely cured and then i went ahead and added my cuticle oil and this is the end result tell me how i did you guys i really want to know um how i did i will be reading you in the comment section um thank you so much honestly for being here it really means the world to me thank you so much everybody who's been subscribing um welcome i really wanna i wish i could go and give you a hug for subscribing <laughs> thank you for being here it really it really 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 means the world to me you guys you have no idea um so yes um i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you once again for being here um if you guys haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe click that bell and also go ahead and give me a big thumbs up i will be catching you here on the next one i don't know when i don't know if i'm gonna be posting or uploading on friday i'm not too sure yet um or if not till next week i don't know you guys i don't know but yeah um yeah i'll be seeing you here on the next one thank you for being here stay safe god bless and bye bye